My favorite memory was probably Ethnos. That's probably one of our biggest and hard work achievements. But every moment with the offices was really great. And uh, but I really liked the marketing portion of Ethnos. I think we did really well, and I think we're going to have great opportunity to expand next year. Ethnos during um, when we danced to the both of us and released our stress and just had fun and let go and it was great. It was awesome. I love dancing. It's not sure culture sure. I really enjoy it and you know, you know, we, we're from different country, different back we have different background but we, we work together and do the really good group and do the did a really good job. My favorite memory in ISA was food festival because of all the good food Woo! and watching people's face reactions from food contest. My favorite moment in ISA was the Ethnos because although I had to spend a lot of time for the preparation but I still could spend like a lot of time with more students. It would have to be when we were planning for Ethnos. It was really fun getting to know the officers better and the people who helped out. Opening night of Ethnos when everything went so smoothly, everybody did so great, and everybody laughed at my jokes. Watching the Ethnos ticketing work out, and specifically watching the numbers grow as people bought tickets. I got to take what I learned, or things that I'm fascinated about technology, and bring it to um, what I wanted to devote my time to. I said. What I loved most, I have to say, was Ethnos. That was so fun. But also, I loved the International Food Festival. The different food Congratulations, finally, yeah! Leave and go out to the world. Gambare! No, you guys are awesome and you guys will do great um, in wherever you go and I just ask that God will bless you and show you the way. Yeah. First, always tell the truth. Second, laugh at yourself, which is really good for your heart. Third, be a person of integrity. It really carries you far in life. And fourth, don't forget me. In the words of Gandhi, be the, be the change you wish to see in the world, and also God bless and God speed. If you're going to Dallas, whenever I need to go to the airport, can I stay with you? Great love. Got a job, I got an offer from the next day. Congrats to you and to me. See you in the real world. It's not goodbye, it's a small world, so I'll see you later. Congratulations guys, you've made it to the end. Uh, all the things that ACU has sown in you, go and make the world a better place. I'm looking forward to see where the Lord brings you, and we'll be praying for you. Thank you so much for letting me serve you as your chaplain. It was an honor and a pleasure to be with you every Thursday during chapel. I loved it and it was a great experience and thank you so much for letting me serve. Thank you for letting me serve you and I can't wait to serve you another year. And I'm so excited for the wonderful memories we'll be creating next year. It's been an honor to serve you uh, this year and I've learned a lot from uh, the team. We just come from all different walks of life and so there's a lot of valuable things we can learn. So I want to take what I learned this year and apply it um, next year. I really enjoyed this year and thank you so much. Thank you everyone you know, say. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me this year and I look forward to serving you again for another year. Laura Blake, Lucy McGregor, all these people, thank you. Thank you to the officers, you guys are amazing. And thank you to the students who just love one another and want to grow together. Mwah. Thank you for letting me serve you guys and to um, let me use my talents to make ISA better. I um, look forward to see what ISA is going to do next year. Please be involved in ISA. It's an awesome opportunity to hang, hang out with people from various backgrounds that you can learn more about the world. So please be part of us and it will be awesome. Guys, the offices work hard and uh, we love serving you. We only want to serve you more. I hope that next year you will give your full support to the incoming officers and all the things that they plan and all the things they want to do. Um, I, I personally uh, 
I personally support each and every one of them and I'm excited each and every one of them is running. Um, we would love to see you get involved and change the community of ACU so that we'll be able to reach more international students and Americans. No, I can't answer that. You, Jeremy! I just want to hug you every time I see you. And I love your hands. Um, I think I'm maybe a junior. Because he's my younger sister, so... Myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, um, that's a really hard question. So, um, I think all of the officers are on par with each other. Um, so I think I like all of them. Uh, I'm gonna be not biased and not choose the obvious answer. Monica. Yeah, because she cracks me up. She, that girl, if you do not know Monica, she says the most hilarious things like at the randomest moments. So yeah. Well, that's a tough question. I would say mine. Because I'm from South Korea and then Mai has some kind of Japanese thing. We are neighbors. So. It have to be mine because she's pretty much the only person who will watch horse movies with me. It would be Clement. Is that because he's standing behind us right now? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My favorite has to be Clement because he is standing right there giving me the interview right now. Actually, I'll say it's Adrian because she has editing power. No, but each, each and every one of the offices worked really hard and uh... I appreciate each and every one of them. None of this could be here without them. Alright, take one, Evelyn, interview. So, why do you laugh so much? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so why didn't you pick uh, uh, the obvious answer, uh, Jeremy? <laughs> So if you had to pick one, well, that, that's not a choice. So I have to, I have to pick all because then there would be favoritism. And the Bible says they're not supposed to have favoritism. So we're, that's just we're, we're in the Bible. Does it say there's no favoritism? <laughs> Somewhere in the New Testament. <laughs> Perfect. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, what would it be? And what noise would it make? Giraffe. Because I always wanted to be skinny. I'm just kidding. Probably like a bear or something. The officers say I look like a panda. But really, you have to punch me twice here for me to look like a panda. What's your favorite part of your job? Telling people what to do. <laughs> Is that why you're running for vice president next year? Maybe. <laughs> your least favorite officer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? No, I'm not going to answer that. So you do have a least favorite officer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we done? No. Who's your favorite ISA officer? <laughs> Do I have to answer that? No. Alright. Thank you, Monica.